very much to Border County USA, episode 32 already. And uh, by each day I'm getting better and better, so hopefully I'll be back up to uh, recovery strength pretty soon. Uh, here we are today doing our airport tour of Cochise County for you. Uh, there are really a lot of really great airports here, and I want to start out with my favorite. It's the one here in uh, Sierra Vista. It's actually within Sierra Vista Claim Limits, and the terminal here is operated, I think, by the city. Uh, I'm really, truly trying hard to get the... To get the uh, uh, TSA and the FCC involved in getting uh, this place back up to commercial activity. Uh, they do have the, the Cessnas out here that will charge about $125 an hour to just take you flying around the mountains here and maybe, maybe hit Wilcox or back or Douglas or back. But for true international uh, commercial travel, there's really no reason for us to go to Tucson International or Mesa Gateway or Sky Harbor to catch a commercial flight. Uh, this runway here is uh, kind of co-built, co-owned by Libby Field. And as a matter of fact, you see some huge planes taking off and landing today. Uh, those are C-130s. Uh, the pilots are just doing normal training for touching goes to get hours in. And uh, <laughs> really nothing else going on out here today. You hear the little little uh, small uh, general aircraft uh, engines going in the background. Could be the, uh, the, the drones. They sound the same. They also have a Cessna engine in them. Uh, what I, this... Uh, what you got to do is I'm going to explain how runways work. This this airport has two nearly consecting runways. We have runway 30, which means roughly that uh, if you're taking off from the uh, southeast and you take off on that runway, you're generally going to see in your compass a heading of 300 degrees. So what they do with runway markers is they take the degrees you're heading to when you take off or land and they subtract or they divide it by 10. So you're really talking 300 degrees roughly. They normally average it out around the nearest 10. And uh, here comes that C-130 back in again for some, some more touch and goes. Uh, 300 degrees, uh, to, to divide that by 10 and you got runway 30. On the other end of that, what you do is you take the, the 30 and you either add or subtract 18, which is 180 degrees, which means exactly the opposite. And you'll get runway C-30, you get runway uh, 12. So runway 12 actually means you're taking off from the northwest uh, toward the northeast. And uh, that would be a 120 degrees because you take 120 divided by 10 and you get 12. Now I want to mention that uh, around the world these all point to magnetic north, not true north. So the, uh, the thing you need to know about that is here in Arizona we're about 10 degrees off between where the magnetic pole is and where true north is. So true north is the one where the earth actually spins around it, but uh, magnetic north is, is about 10 degrees off here, and that's the that's where the, the compass will all point to is where the north pole is, when it's really not. And that varies as you go around the earth to different latitudes. Uh, what else should I add about that? There's a cross runway, I think it's runway four, and uh, you add, four, no, I'm sorry, it's runway eight. Yeah, runway eight, so you're heading 80 degrees uh, going from west to east, and you add uh, 18 to that, you get uh, 26. So 260 degrees, almost, almost uh, due west, is uh, where you're going. So that was basically an east-west east -west runway. And once again, the C-130 is taking back off to do another touch and go. And uh, this is really a great airport. Uh, they have, like I said, we took it to Neota Shape uh, back in August. And uh, I don't think that it, it appeared on Border County USA. I think it was on the Sullivan's Projects mid-month review. But we showed you the airport there. And it has a really, really cool hangar, but it only holds two planes. Well, this facility here has lots of hangars that have lots of planes in them. So that's how that goes. And as you can see, we get all sorts of citations and uh, other twin-engine larger uh, planes here that aren't jet. Maybe they're turboprop. But uh, we, we can land Air Force One here on this runway for sure. And... Uh, one thing I'll really be working with the Airport Commission Division of the City Council with is to really, really, really try to lobby uh, all the people involved to get commercial air traffic back in here. Because even if it's just a, a joyride from here to Sky Harbor to catch a connecting flight, it's well worth the investment and I bet you it'll fill up for all the people in this town that are coming and going from Sierra Vista. So uh, we get some scheduled airlines in here and uh, turn this place into a real airport and we'll be in business. It's probably the only one in, Sierra, in uh, Cochise County here in Sierra Vista that can actually uh, go commercial. But uh, I say let's do it. Uh, 
it, it, you can get to uh, Tucson International one way for about $75 from here using Danielle's great uh, Wachuca shuttle service. Um, I really think people would invest about 100 or so just to get right over the mountains here uh, straight to TIA or a uh, trip up to uh, uh, Phoenix. And I, I think it can be a, a two-way street. I think you just schedule this t twice a week, maybe daily even. Uh, one trip going up to deliver passengers and another trip to pick up passengers and bring them back down here. Very doable. This is the Cochise County Airport. I understand that uh, they just did a, a lot of uh, upgrades to the runways here. And it's one of the two airports that Cochise County actually runs. A lot of good looking planes out here. Uh, one of the, the most uh, frequent visitors out here is actually a man named Warren Buffett, and I don't know if he has relatives here. Uh, he kind of has a, a railroad here, the uh, Burlington no Northern Santa Fe, he owns that, and it's pretty much out here. The uh, windsock is pretty accurate. That is actually pr pretty close to where we are today as far as the wind. And uh, this is just to the uh, uh, north, uh, northwest of Wilcox itself. It's not very far to get off of I-10 I to get here, just a couple miles. It's at a 4,182 feet elevation. And uh, like I said, this one here is run by the county of Cochise County. And there's another one we're going to hit next. Uh, this one here, like I said, there's really only one real runway. It's runway 3, which as I said back in Sierra Vista means about 30 degrees, which means you're taking off kind of to the uh, north-northeast. And the other runway, like I said, you always at, at 18, you get runway 21, which means 210 degrees, which means pretty pretty much south southwest. So uh, there's another perpendicular runway that's all closed off right now. It looks like it's reduced enough to gravel. And at the end of those runways, they have X's, meaning it's don't land here. <laughs> I guess they could. Really, it's pretty pretty long runway. It may be a, a runway that's extinct or a runway that's in planning. But uh, like I said, it's pretty well groomed for uh, small planes to try to land on. But uh, I would recommend that the uh, larger jets try to take the, uh, the well-marked, well-paved runway 321. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're jumping off of the I-10 going westbound and heading down uh, 191 down to the Douglas area. I did speak to the terminal director here at the uh, Cochise County Airport, and uh, she <laughs> said, first of all, if I have the uh, ear of Pat call, let him know that they really need a lot more money to, money up here at the, this airport. There's a lot of rich people up here, she's already said, like I, like I said. And uh, it's a pretty well-used airport, but they're way, way uh, underfunded. I asked her what happened to that other runway that just had X's on the end. She says, uh, no, it's not planned to be open. It was actually open at one time and due to county maintenance it was closed so it makes sense uh, what else uh, as far as the uh, faa or tsa funds that went into the runway she said uh 
more, more than likely that was the BDI airport, not hers. So uh, I can tell it's struggling uh, up, up here at this airport. So uh, Pat Call, get, get some funds up here and let's get this place fixed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when I pulled over for my last film, right here at the I-10-191 exit, I left the camera on the back trunk, and I just remembered I did that about a quarter of a mile down the road. I turned around, looked in all the ditches, looked all over the road. It wasn't there. There was only one van that was heading this way. They must have picked it up and ran with it. So I lost my uh, Android uh, up here on this film shoot, but uh, that's the way it goes. Lesson learned. Well, guys, we've already passed through... A lot of different towns through here, Alpharita, Sun Sites, uh, Kansas Settlement, uh, one just right here, just north of the airport. I'm, I've actually hit Davis Road. I was thinking about uh, canceling BDI today, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and make that one. I'll be, I'll be late for the City Council meeting, though. Well, guys, we're here at the uh, famous BDI. It stands for Bisbee Douglas International, and funny enough, uh, it's about eight miles north of Bisbee, about nine miles north of the border, and nowhere near Bisbee. <laughs> is way over there so not really a whole lot to see here the runway here is actually geographically straight east and west and about in the middle it tees down to straight north and south but I know it's about 10 degrees off it's a kind of an interesting airport very kind of a lot, lot of old buildings out here and this is the other one run by the county so I think this is the one that had, had all the runway work done to it recently You'll see F-16s come down here and train once in a while. Matter of fact, one was lost out of here about two or three years ago. <clears throat> and that tower you see right there is not uh, the airport tower. Uh, that's actually a Department of Corrections owns a, a, a prison facility out here too. So this is a, the USDA actually has a, an operation here. So a lot of different people operating out of here. So that'll do it for the famous BDI, the uh, Bisbee Douglas International. And down there is the, the, the mountains of Mexico. So we're pretty close. Well, here we are looking back at Douglas and the mountains of Douglas. And I really do want to make a trip out there to the uh, mountains east of Douglas out to the border. And uh, here the other way. We have, we're on the Double Adobe Road, it's a really nice road, and here the other way we have the mountains of Bisbee, Arizona. So uh, we're going to miss that Bisbee Airport today because of time. Really want to do catch that city council meeting tonight. So we'll just pass on through Bisbee and catch the city council meeting.
otros seres Dios con nosotros seres Dios con nosotros seres Hello guys, we made it to City Hall down here in Sierra Vista, Arizona. Uh, there should be a city council meeting about 10 minutes al already in progress. Hit some bad traffic on 92. We knew there was construction going on, but uh, yeah, it, it was kind of ri ridiculous. <laughs> but but uh, we're we're here, <clears throat> so we'll here we'll be here to see most of it. Uh, once again, this is the last city council meeting for uh, Miss Ash, Mr. Blanchard, and Mr. Mount. So we'll be here to say goodbye to them and hopefully see the uh, three new ones here tonight as well. So here we are in Sierra Vista at the mall trying to get this uh, old phone that was lost and then found, kind of, sort of, reactivated. And so instead of showing you the uh, city, city council tonight, we'll be showing you some uh, really cool uh, Christmas lights set up around here, maybe even more next week. So thanks very much for watching episode 32 of Border County USA, and have a great night. God bless. One other thing, guys, I really a great shout out to these guys at T-Mobile here in uh, Sierra Vista, Arizona. They always find some way to hook me up, and they hook them up to themselves up too. But uh, very good service here as always. And once again, uh, kudos to uh, T-Mobile of Sierra Vista, Arizona, down here at the mall. Siento tu gracia como el viento Y convencida ahora estoy Que nada soy Señor
Well, hello. Here we are here at the uh, Bisbee Municipal Airport. I uh, decided to tack this on because I had time, extra time, to come out here today and do this as part of episode 32 of Border County USA. We're really sorry about the wind, guys. <laughs> it's really chilly wind out of the east today, and uh, it is what it is. It's uh, it's it is December, which around here there's no snow, which is great. There is up there in the mountains. I'm looking at out there to the west. Uh, this is really uh, on the map as a important airport in Arizona for one reason and one reason only. Uh, it's a mile long runway. Right now you're looking at the middle of it. Uh, the northern end is runway 17. If you're heading out that way you're going to head right in, into Mexico. Uh, the other one is runway 35. And runway 35 will kind of take you pretty much to the north. Just a little bit, not even to the north. You think uh, 35 is 350 degrees, but as I explained uh, back in Sierra Vista, there's a 10 degree offset. So actually, instead of kind of going a little bit left of north, like it would be for 350 degrees, the north end of the runway is a little bit uh, to the right of north. <laughs> so that, that's the magnetic, magnetic variation we have out here. Uh, what makes this airport here important is this is the place where all of the, the VIPs for the dog and pony show uh, show up at. So if you're Doug Ducey or a senator or a congressman or something like that uh, coming down here to tour the border, uh, you'll land here at this airport. Uh, once you take off from the south end of the runway heading off on uh, runway 17, you're about a mile from Mexico. So if you don't want to go across Mexico, you have to really stop quick. But we are, uh, like I said before, just one mile north at the end of the runway from Mexico. So uh, that is, that's the draw of this place, is the dog and pony shows. Uh, I don't see anybody here today. I'm supposed to check in with the, uh, with the uh, manager here. I don't see anybody. <laughs> there is a car here. But as you can see, uh, there's a lot of planes out here, just not that many as the other airports. That looks like a fancy wind vane there with the wind sock, and they're kind of arguing on the directions. <laughs> uh, and over here, you can see a, a really nice pair of Cessnas, and the first one here looks pretty new, kind of like 70s, and the other one there is <laughs> looks like a 1940 Cessna. I'll get I'll get over here and show you a better look look at that one. Through the fence, of course. But it's pretty pretty rare where you see a, one of those original 1940s, maybe 50s uh, Cessnas flying. <laughs> they didn't bother with paint on it. Sometimes you'll see Coast Guard or some kind of other C-130s down here for some reason. But uh, there's your picture of your, your other Cessna right there. Beautiful bird, actually. I really have something about silver birds for some reason. I, I don't know why. Maybe the, the old DC-3 or... Possibly uh, the HL-10, <laughs> the old NASA test planes, were all silver, which would just basically meant they were aluminum with maybe pinstripes on them. So that'll do it for here. We'll uh, just to wrap it up, take you down and show you the, the road to the border. And you can actually see the fence, like I said, from here going down that way. And all those uh, mountains there are Mexico. So we'll be on our way. <laughs> El camino 
Nada mejor que te pueda ofrecer 